And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the start of a bad day. Like that. Yeah. 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 All right, so I'm at the dealer. I was actually dropping off some trimmers and going to uh, take some stuff off of there and then I noticed that I had a flat tire. But the cool thing is, uh, it's just one of those things where you need to be prepared. Um, I do have a, um, a kit, that way I can plug the tire and then get it replaced, but <sighs> gotta spend some money. But it's what it is. Um, I'm gonna be able to get to my destination safely let me show you this little kit. All right, so this is tire right here. Rainy day, as you can see. You got the tire plug kit. And you need to keep that in the truck. That way, if you ever have any issues, you can just get it swapped out and get to where you need to till we get a new tire. I just got a new tire, but that's what it is. So I'm going to plug this thing up and throw it in the garbage and pick up a whole new trailer. You know, I'm just playing. I'm going to fix this and get it done. Alright, I'm back. Got the tire plugged and got a chance to use this Milwaukee. So I'm going to see exactly how long it takes to get this thing pumped up. And uh, got a pretty big hole. I just went on ahead and ordered two new tires. And while I'm here, I might check out tires for the Bobcat. So, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and just get tires for the Bobcat while I'm here. Um, I gotta check and see what size these things are, and I shall be back. Let's see. All right, Grass Run Valley, I am back, and I wanted to show you, uh, explain to you exactly what went on. So let me get on this side. So as you see in the video, I had a nail or something in the tire okay and that's when i was at the dealer i initially took it in to um, get two trimmers fixed then i had a leak here and i decided just to go ahead and change both of them out that way i don't have to worry about it having a brand new one here this one kind of worn uh, if you've seen the video uh, a little while ago we changed out the ones on the other side and went from there so let me show you this over here so these are the two trimmers we had um, this one is a FS 91 R and um, had to get that tuned up because the idle was off on it so I went on ahead and got that tuned up and I don't know if you guys remember but this is the FS 90 R and this is an old one. I think we bought this one used, kind of like a backup. And um, just wanted to get that in working order. He gave me the string right here that he said try out. This is a steel string. Um, never tried it. Actually looks pretty good. Try to focus in and see if I can show you that. Kind of hard to show you the string. And um, got this one right here. So I think that'll work pretty good because for what I'm doing, I want to make sure your trimmers work. So I've got this trimmer here, got this trimmer here. As you can see, echo is missing, boo, but it's what it is. So while I was at it, I said I might as well get some new tires for the Bobcat, which I was telling you that I was having a couple of issues with it. I didn't like the way... You know stuff was on there so this is what i went with the turf master really like the pattern on it uh feels a lot better uh kind of looks a little similar to the skag one but it's a little bit different as you can see right here love the skag with the kohler and um funny thing is i was looking at the vanguard he had it right in the um 
right inside the dealership and um i was thinking about trying to get that but for how new it is and um what it's doing for me you know it, it pretty much works and um you know so i just went from there so new tires here new tires here and i'm going to show you what we're going to replace the uh echo with okay all right so what type of trimmer do you guys think i got to replace the echo 3020t yes i'm looking at the ground on purpose give me you guys a second all right let's take a look at it so got a steel actually sarah got it 131r bam can you say bam? Bam! Yeah. So yeah. this baby right here. Oof, look, it's new. Got the gas. Mm, 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 mm. Fuck it. Yeah, 131R. So haven't even actually Sarah picked this up the other day. Um, haven't even got a chance to start it up. Cause I've just been too busy. Beautiful, beautiful trimmer beautiful so i'm gonna have to get this thing out here and see exactly um what it does and uh what kind of power it has you think it's gonna be pretty good i know it's gonna be pretty good yeah i think it's gonna be good so hopefully what happens but it's not the echo that you want. sarah actually wanted another echo but i had to talk her into the steel and they're right no <laughs> so 131 r uh, yeah, buddy. It is on. So that's what happens when you lose something. You just boss up and get something else, okay? Something a little bit bigger, tougher. Or? Or what? Don't lose it in the first place. <laughs> or what? Have a really awesome boss. Yes, I guess I got an awesome boss, too. I picked this up because I was kicking myself in the butt and... um she was like, don't even worry about it. Picked it up actually the next morning when they opened, right? Yep. So that's what we rolling with. Can't have customers with no strength cutting. That's true. So this is what we rolling with, okay? So I'm about to get off here. Just a quick video, show you guys what we're doing, what we got done. And I need to put this Echo, I need to work it. I've been using the Milwaukee. I don't need I don't even know the numbers HCA 2620 so I need to start using that um, this is probably the only piece of equipment that kind of sets for a while because uh, I don't really do tall hedges too much and I just break the Milwaukee out when I need it you know what I'm saying so um, okay well I'm about to get off here Chris on the grass grind always invest in yourself and uh, uh, BAM what they what are holla you never know what you see on grass grind tv subscribe <laughs>